everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. We are the Hustle Couple coming at you today with Tuesdays, what sold on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. Yeah, we had a pretty good holiday weekend. Yeah! Hope everybody else's was okay. We sold 33 things. Woo! It's pretty good. Yeah, not bad. Uh, on all three platforms, we've already pulled the items for you guys. It takes a long time to do that on a holiday weekend. Yeah. But there are some mega bolos in here. So pay attention, people. Some things that you're going to want to pick up. I swear, there's some good ones. One <laughs> really, really good one. Yeah, I got lucky on it, I think. It's the thing we got in Oklahoma City. We drove to Oklahoma City yeah. for a concert for Pearl Jam. I mean, okay. <laughs> you guys remember we did that. Yeah. And then we had to go to a thrift store so we could write off the trip. <laughs> and we got one thing. Paid for the whole trip. Boom. Yes. Paid for the whole trip. It was like divine intervention. Stay tuned for that. Okay, we're going to start with Poshmark. Yes. Dan's got the first label printed. Yeah. This is a good brand. But you got to be sure to kind of like look at all the, the tags and everything. It's Paul and Shark. It's a good brand for men. This is a corduroy merino wool combo blend sweater. It is faked a lot. Yeah, but this is, so it's made for yachting, which is <laughs> oh, not yachting. a poor man's sport. Made in Italy, <laughs> yes. Paul in shark yachting. Yes. Too bad we didn't save this for our yacht. I know, right? God, we could have <laughs> used this when we're yachting around. <laughs> Do you, can you only wear that when yachting? Yes. <laughs> is yachting even a verb? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is, actually. I would love to go yachting with you, thank you. Right? <laughs> yeah, I watched too much Dateline. I'm not going on a yacht. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing good comes out of it, I tell you. Remember that Natalie Wood? Mm -hmm. She went on a yacht and never came back. Nope. <laughs> I'm good. I hope this person that goes yachting is okay. I'm only going to say yachting. <laughs> oh, man. I've been working in the costume shop all week, so Dan's been holding down the fort. It's one of those weeks where I've been sewing every day. My hands are just like little witch hands. Ah, like that. <laughs> <laughs> but he's been listed every day. Mm. 5619. 5619. This is an Eileen Fisher Surprise. tank top. So as I was sewing, I've been working 12 hour days and Dang. when I would take a little moment, I would look and if there was an eBay offer, if it was reasonable, I took it. You're going to see that today. There's <laughs> lots of lower dollar sales, but still we're making money. <laughs> so that's the name of the game. Move it out of here. This is an Eileen Fisher petite medium linen tank top. And I sold this baby on Poshmark for $20. All right. I took um, that offer. Anything that does sell on Poshmark, you try to use the free mm -hmm. USPS priority mail shipping supplies. Because Poshmark, you can use any kind of priority mail packaging. They don't care. Care. Yeah. So we use the free stuff. And this is a lower, if you're talking about carbon footprint, it's lower because it's smaller, right? So it doesn't take as much space in a truck or on a plane or in a, you know what I'm trying to say. So it's good. Better. Uh, some of you are asking about the poly mailer situation. We're working on it, man. I told you. It might be December or the new year. That's what we're shooting for. Yeah. It takes a lot of time to get that stuff, 37, 34, to get that stuff in the works. And we wanted to test them first before we offer them to you to make sure we're not selling crap. There go. Okay. Knitted Dove. This is gorgeous. I don't know why it didn't sell faster, but I'm glad it did sell. This is a anthropology brand. And this has like an owl on it. I'm not going to take it out of the package, but I'll show you. You could tell this was anthropology. You know what I mean? <laughs> look at that tag. You would you would know to look it up like something's up there. <laughs> it's really cool. It has an owl knitted into it. It's really kind of ugly, but cool ugly. You know what I mean? <laughs> this sold for $38. Love that. Yeah, so we are just now broaching the 6,000s in our clothes inventory. And this was number 3734. So it's been listed quite a long time. We really need to change that tape. We're almost out of it, so we'll change it. I don't want to waste it. Yeah. Okay. Hey, okay. hey there. Next is the J. Crew 5184. Love the tippy. We love a tippy sweater. This is a tippy sweater. It's a merino wool. Most of the tippies are merino wool. I'm actually going to take it out. Okay. I'm going to show you. All right. We've shown these before on our channel. They yeah. look like this. They all come the... in all different sizes. Yeah. I mean, colors and 
but they're right. tiny. Even if they're a bigger size, they're tiny. They're meant to be a really fitted sweater that you could wear with like a pencil skirt. People love these because they're lightweight, they're breathable, they're a high quality fabric, and they uh, they can be dressed up or down. Mm -hmm. This is an extra, extra small. This so style of sweater, you can just tell it's a tippy because it looks like this. They've been making it for like 10 or 12 or 20 years. Yeah. I don't know, a long time. And we pick them up if they're not shrunk. <laughs> you can feel right away. If it feels rough and not smooth, I mean, that has a texture, but it's not, like, right. thick. It's not, like, felted. Yeah. That's exactly what it's called when that happens. It gets felted, and a lot of the tippies we find are felted. And so they look super small, first of all, like they would fit an American Girl doll. Right. And second of all, you're just like, eh, That's, that's eh. no give in the sense. Yeah. <laughs> not good. Don't buy them if they're like that. See, some people, when they're doing their work clothes, this is what I used to do when I was a teacher. I had a million tippy sweaters. I, they would get thrown in, you know, you didn't see them because they're kind of small. Yep. And then it would I just... Accidentally get dried. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you pull it out and you'd be like, oh! Oh, man. <laughs> Casual, see? No way I can fit into this now. <laughs> yeah, that's one of those personal experiences I know from. <laughs> anyway. Uh... I think we're 100% salty rate in our store for, for tippy sweaters. I think we just listed that one and it sold. So right. highly recommend that. Okay, that's all Poshmark. Let cool. me go ahead and put that in a separate bag. You can start on the Macari. Okay. We sold what a couple is this? of a things. Bobby Noggin Nest Head Support. Excuse me? Mm -hmm. Excuse this, me. This is for your, your baby's head. <laughs> <laughs> for your baby head. <laughs> I do not know. This one looks like a kitten. Oh, Cute. cat stuff sells. Little dusty. It's been sitting on the shelf. Let me... <laughs> okay, it's not me this time. Everyone makes fun of me because I want to lint roll everything. I'm just preemptive. Because uh, you knew I would come yes. in here. All right, this thing. I pick up Pottery Barn Kids a lot. This is Pottery Barn Baby or something. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, and if it's new in the package, for sure, I pick it up. And uh, this did well for us. I don't know where the, does it have a ticket? I already pulled it. Oh, okay. I was just seeing. You put this. And we don't have kids. <laughs> when we sell kids stuff, we're like, mm, something. You do something with it with your head. So your baby's head doesn't, your noggin. It says noggin. In case, you're, <laughs> in case in your baby's trying to head bang. Yes. It keeps it. Still. <laughs> okay. I guess I should tell you what it sold for, but I don't know. I didn't write it down. I forgot about that. Sorry. I can tell you in one second. It sold on Mercari for. Da -da -da -da. For it, nineteen dollars. Nineteen dollars. And then the bra. I don't know what it sold for either. That's okay. So Dan writes for. It's a little bit more difficult for Poshmark and Mercari because they don't really have a scan form or whatever. Yeah. So he prints Come out on, the labels. Poshmark, get with the times. He prints out the labels and then writes on the back of them what they are, just in case you're wondering. Okay, this is the other one. Oh, I, I, do I need a, is this FedEx? Nope. Okay, cool. Yep. Wait, should I? All right, we're good. Cool. This is a Wackle Brawl. If you remember, I bought a ton of these. Mm -hmm. Oh no, this one's from the bins. I don't know what happened. I don't know. I bought a ton of Waffle Bras. I always buy them. This one is the, I don't know. It's 34 Triple D. And uh, it's a lace underwire bra. Waffle is really great, W-A-C-O-A-L, because they have a style number on the Printed on the bra, not a tag. It's like printed right there. And most of the time it says the actual name of it. Oh, cool. Like, yes. Yeah. So looking them up is a super breeze. And I list them as exactly what they are. And we all good. Love it. Okay. Okay. Now we're getting on to eBay. Okay. Where we actually sold the most things. Not surprising, right? The first thing you will not be surprised. Why is that like that this time? What? Did you want me to plug that in over here? No, actually, no. It's like a little danger zone. Okay. Well, that way I don't have to ever move the plug. I can move it from there to there to there <laughs> without having to move the plug, which is 
and that's annoying. Hey, we're, we're doing a video. You forgot. <laughs> <laughs> These are St. John Velour pants. I wanted to show you the tag because all these same. That's the older one. Yeah, yes. but it still sells. Right. So that's why I was going to show them. I don't want you to be like, oh my God, vintage. All this St. John, as long as the elastic isn't toasted, meaning that it's crunchy. See, not crunchy. Oh, sorry. I want you guys took a little ride. Sorry. Mm -hmm. a little wobble zone. Uh, these are velour, kind of like lounge pants. I said St. John Sport by Marie Gray. I put the whole title because that means it's vintage. Size large black velvet velour high rise rhinestone pants. Right. These sold for $62.95 plus shipping, Sweet. and they are going to Houston, Texas. All right. I'm going to weigh these puppies. They felt a little heavy. I think they should be right on the edge because we only on we put them in at first class. So. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna put 16 just to be be super safe. Okay. Next is a spleen. Right what? Right we right buy right. these. We buy these organs. <laughs> <laughs> There's this line of kids' toys that are organs. We've got a we had a placenta. I we think did. we sold it. We had a uh, which other one do we have? We got a bunch of these. Yeah. This is the spleen. Mean spleen fighting machine. <laughs> I think we had an appendix or something. We definitely sold that one. That one was a good oh. one. Here's all the ones they make. Uterus, lung, heart, stomach, liver, bladder, spleen, lymph node, pancreas. Oh, I think we sold a pancreas. Brain, gallbladder, kidney, intestine, appendix, skin, thyroid, pituitary, eyeball, <laughs> testicle, salivary, prostate, adrenal, teeth, ovary, mammary, thymus, and parathyroid. All right. So these are for kids that like science, I guess, or if they're having an, uh, an operation or something like that, or they're, you know what I mean, if their family is. I think that's a really cool concept. So we pick these up when we find them, and most always they have a tag. I don't know why. Rude. <laughs> We're cut off. Dan's phone ran out of storage. Unbelievable. After I spent hours this morning, literally hours, going back and deleting 84,000 <laughs> pictures. 84,000. That's four years of product of photography, folks. Reseller problems. <laughs> 84,000. Reseller problems. <laughs> anyway, we sold a spleen. Woo! Ridiculous. <laughs> Put it in the box. Can't take it. I love selling these. I don't know where we cut off, but y'all, yeah, if you find these body organs, love it. All right, this sold for $26.95 plus shipping, and it's going international to the UK. Yeah, man. Where spleens were invented. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask. <laughs> Woo! So they almost spent as much in shipping as they did for the item itself. Yeah, when it came through on my phone, so I get a little zip zip on my watch because I was sewing, 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 zip zip, and I look and it was like $50 spleen. I was like, oh, I didn't know we had it listed that high. We did not. $22 for international shipping. They paid a lot. All right, cool. I hope they love their spleen. I like to buy unique things like that, you know? Like, where else are you going to find a stuffed spleen? <laughs> Get your spleens here. Right. Okay, it's an eight by six by four, and we're at seven ounces. Hopefully, they don't have any restrictions against stuff spleens yeah. in the UK. Right. Speaking of the UK. Oh, sweet! This is <laughs> such a good segue. <laughs> this it never happens. Never. This we just listed from the bins, and you saw it in our haul, and I said I couldn't leave it behind because it is official London ch tube merch. Yes. It's got the old tube map on it. It it doesn't have the most recent lines, so that kind of dates it a little bit, which is cool. Somebody yeah. might like that. Anyway, it's a little backpack. It's cheap, but it's you can't get it in the United States. Like, right. where would you buy this, right? right? So that's why I picked it up, and it was from the bins. Where's from the nothing? bins. 70 cents we have into it. Yes. And it sold for $18 overnight. So somebody must have tube merch on a safe search or their viewer maybe. I don't know. Somebody's waiting for this. And I'm here to give it to them. That's right. Love it. Little backpack. Little backpack. 18 plus shipping. You're going to find a lot of things that sold from the bins from last week's hauls. 
because we were buying stuff, listing it, number one. Hey, that's the key. <laughs> Actually listing it. But also we did not list anything that did not have any kind of sell-through rate. And there were no bags listed like this. Whoa, buddy. There were no bags listed like this, but tube stuff was selling, yeah. like tube merch. So I just kind of like used my best guess and uh, I sold. Use my best guess as far as pricing and whether it would sell. You know what I mean? Right. You don't have to find the exact thing if it doesn't exist. These are Liverpool. This is a good brand that has a following. I wouldn't pay a ton for it. It's something smell like patchouli. Uh-oh. When you open that cabinet. Open that cabinet. Okay. <laughs> Liverpool trouser dress pants. Women's size 20. Port wine maroon flawed. No clue what the flaw was. Nope. I mean, I'm sure it says it in the listing, but we listed these a long time ago. Three, four, four, four. Mm -hmm. And I saw a $12 offer come through, and then I saw flaw in my title, and I said, well, goodbye. <laughs> so I put, whenever it's flawed, I put it really big in the title in all caps, just so people know, so we don't get that in-ad return. Yeah. And uh, basically, I won't I mean, if it's a high-end brand, no. But basically, any offer will get it. You know what I mean? I just... I thought it was worth it. Maybe the pant hem had come. Whoa. Whoa. Pant hem had come out, perhaps. Go. And somebody could just fix that real easy. This is a flat red envelope. Next, Ugh. juicy Katsua. Oh yeah. Oh. This stuff is so yeah. hot on the college campus. Yeah. This is the extra set of. Navy blue pants that we had. Navy blue pants, velour. Remember these from Y2K's? Mm -hmm. We sold the jumpsuit uh, jacket and pants, and the woman who bought it did not want the extra pants, so we listed them, and they sold for thirty dollars. Love it. If you can get the jumpsuits with the writing on the butt, they go real fast yeah. for like over a hundred, sometimes yeah. two hundred. Yeah. Next is a plush, an Easter plush, rando. Yeah, know. right, this guy? Yeah. <laughs> I did soak this guy. This was a soaking experiment. It came pretty clean. It was pretty dinge. And uh, I had her and a friend. There was a boy one. Maybe they were brother and sister, boyfriend, Maybe. girlfriend. I don't know. This is Russ. This is similar material to a puffa lump. This is not a puffa lump. But I figured maybe someone had this as a kid, and I just described it as... So here's the thing. It says Russ on the tag, and I did put that. Yep. But who's going to remember this was Russ? If you're in your mind map, mm -hmm. you're like, remember that thing I had? I had a pink dress. It was like <laughs> floppy and nylon. Oh, this is going to be a strug. That's going to be fine. Oh, Dan's going to shove it in there. Russ, here's what I've titled it. Russ nylon plush bunny rare light pink 1980s 13-inch sitting stuffed animal vintage. And it sold for $15. I took the offer because we have had it a long time. I don't know what he's going to do with this. <laughs> this is his specialty. I'll just let him work. <laughs> Tuck those ears in. Noise, noise, noise. Go teamwork, dream work. Yes. Let me make sure we're still filming. If we had a mishap, we're good. Okay. Okay. We switched phones. You're on my phone now. Hey. Let's see. Eleven ounces. Okay. This is a oh. pumpkin. Pumpkins are hot right now, but this we've had listed for a while. This is super cool. It is cool, right? Yeah, man. This is Christian Siriano, you know, Project Runway, hello. Hey. Not the Payless, this nope. is actually his home line. And this is a pumpkin, glass, marble. I'm gonna read it to you, we need to. California. Christian Siriano, New York, hand-blown art, glass, pumpkin, curly stem, marble pattern. This sold for $30. No, I think we undercharged for shipping. What? It's only $8.99. Now nah, we're gonna be right. It's very heavy. We can do this cubic. Probably, yeah. Hundred percent cubics. Cubic zirconia. This thing is what? I got it. About seven inches. Do you think it could fit in here? It's way too big. Oh, I didn't know this. Yeah. Okay, we need like a. 
You know what? It might actually go, if I can, it might go into a seven. No, not with any padding. Anymore. What about this guy? This is the one I thought I pulled out. Yeah, it's still a little big, but it's pretty good. I mean, we're going to need a bunch of, I got all these air pockets. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, this will let us just like really, really rapid. That's what I'm thinking. Wedge it. Y'all, I got all these Amazons from my last costume order, and they came with so many air pockets. Bonus. Elation. That <laughs> is what I felt. So excited to open every single one. Air pocket palooza. Oh, no. What? Oh. We're going to have to... Huh? To go out to the garage for that. Do we have one? Yes. Yes, we do. Okay. Woo-wee. Is that a bag of peanuts? <laughs> you got the peanuts. Yes. It's a little bag of peanuts. Well, this, will, this should be plenty. Well, okay. I don't know about plenty, but it'll... All right, let me go grab this bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. I'm going to do another item while you... This p pumpkin is heavy. So it's small and heavy, and that's why we're gonna check the cubic shipping rate on pirate ship. Small, heavy items do really well in that arena over there, and you can integrate it with eBay. All right, next is a Kate Spade top that I found for very cheap. I couldn't believe it. It was on half off day, and it was still there. 99 cents, Kate Spade bow top, and it's silk. It was really pretty. Uh, yeah. And this sold on, this sold for $25. That is amazing. I think you know what the Kate Spade tag looks like. It normally says like live beautifully or something on it. This one says live colorfully. See, okay. I'll show it to you. Don't look at my nails. I've been sewing all week. You know what happens. <laughs> My camera, I think my phone's better than your phone. What do you mean? I don't know, it's kind of brighter and nicer. <laughs> just saying. Not saying, I'm just saying. It might be better. We're getting new phones. We're actually going to do it. Maybe this weekend because I'm going out of town. Y'all, I... I'm out of town next weekend. I'm going to crime school. Oh man, it's finally here. It is here. I'm going to the Denver Crime Lab. If you don't know about me and that, I'm obsessed with genetic genealogy and finding criminals like the Golden State Killer based on DNA, familial matches on sites like Ancestry and GenMatch. I'm going to school for a week to learn how to do it properly and to make connections and actually get a job, you know, detectiving from my home. That'd be so cool. I know. <laughs> Be like, sorry guys, couldn't do a video today. I was catching a killer. <laughs> one day. I'm obsessed. All right. Next is an Eileen Fisher tunic top. We sold two purple Eileen Fisher things. Isn't that weird? This is a tunic top from Eileen Fisher. This is the, this is, I think, the newer tag. It looks a little cleaner, the font, you know, it looks a little more modern, as they say. Anyway, this sold for, we got this at an estate sale, and it sold for $32. Very nice. Very nice. Dan is wrapping the pumpkin. Take no prisoners. Nope. Weighing this, eight ounces. Next, we just listed this um, from the bins. Anthropology women's size small Alexia tunic sweater sleeveless cream knit smock style. I sold it for $15. Uh, because we had just listed it, I love those quick conversions, and sometimes anthropology sweaters sit for us. So I didn't want to miss a sale. And I think the most I probably could have gotten was like 25 for it. So I was happy with that sale. 
$46.49. All that has been taken out. Dan left nothing more than a packing peanut in his life. Sweater. Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> the drama. Yeah, it's definitely over a pound. This is going to Florida. Cool. What do you think? Is the stem protected? That's all I care about. Yeah, do you need air pockets? I don't believe so. Alright. So the sweater on its own is over a pound. So this again might be a, a um, cubic situation. Okay. 12 by 10 by 8. Alright, let's check on the pirate ship on this. Do you mind? I don't. 12 by 10 by 8. Get it on up there. Oh! Oh! Three pounds, nine ounces. What? What? I don't know. You're going to check on the pirate ship. Yeah. Florida, it would be the Phoenix sweater, right? Yeah. Four ninety nine. I know. Oh, it's over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I must have just messed up on this thing. So I was gonna see if I could get it into here, or we could try it in a poly and then see what cubic is. It's just over a pound, so it might be might be good. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. You want to see what the cubic would be in a poly? I mean, sure. Let's see. Let's four. Poly is twelve by ten. What's the total weight? One point four. Good to check. I'm gonna shove it. Pad it flat, right? Envelope. And then did you check the pumpkin? Okay, and then we have the 
these Casa Luna Luxury Linen Blend Standard Pillow Shams Natural Frayed Edges 2 set. I got these at the bins and they were in perfect condition. I got them home to find out that they were a Target brand. They still sold super quick. They sold overnight and um, they uh, had sold comps. So Casa Luna, man. I think linen anything, you know, sometimes it's good to try it out. These sold for 20 bucks. Like when you think about our $58 bin strip yeah. and just that one thing sold for 20 bucks. And the anthro sweater before that sold for, oh, okay. you know, 15 bucks. It's just like, okay. I love being able to give people deals because our cost of goods is so low. Yeah. So we can just be like, yeah, sure. You can have it. Starbucks coffee. This is a sign language shirt that has, I don't know what it says in sign language. I forgot. I'll read you. This says Starbucks size small sign language t-shirt store employees only vintage black. Mm. So when something's like wash wear like this or the black that's like kind of off black, yeah. I put vintage black. That is a color and that just means that it's not like black, black. Right. Anyway, this sold for $25. Love it. I'm selling a lot of Starbucks recently. It's weird, right? Uh, if you wanted one of the Starbucks, you know, we got a bunch of them, the um, 2020 Black Lives Matter ones, we have them listed now. There are three X. Send us an offer. We have 25 of them. <laughs> I love them. Okay. All right. Uh, where are you from? W-A-Y-F, size extra small, Marie Burgundy Floral Print Rouge Lace Ruffled Maxi Dress. He made noise ever. the whole time I said that. Hopefully you got it. Uh, we've had it for a long time. This came in a BNG box. Eh. BNG is gone with our money. We had a store credit and then they closed down. Bye. Rude. W-A-Y-F. This brand does well sometimes. Just not this style. I guess it's a pretty dress. Here we go. Here's the tag. Waif. <laughs> size extra small and I had a stock photo with it so it wasn't the photo I don't know whatever it's old it's pretty hopefully someone loves it it sold for $40 sweet and my finger is dead. I burned it really bad here we are All right, nice. It's so funny because most of the stuff we got at the Colorado bins, we've mailed back to Colorado. Back to Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of the things, okay? These next are no exception. The Sorrel Women's Size 7 Peat Moss Suede Tremblant Blanket Winter Moccasin Slippers are going back to Colorado. That's so funny. <laughs> They just want to go home. These are cool. I really like these. I wish they were my size. This is what they look like. Yep. Yeah. My tissue. I like to do tissue on the shoes. And they're really pretty and they're clean. For slippers, these are clean. Slippers get, you know, Amazing. get kind of nasty sometimes. And we're going to leave them in this regional box because we know that shooting to Colorado regional rate is really good for us. Because yep. we ship a lot of things to Colorado. We just like to buy things there, bring them here, and then ship them back. <laughs> regional A. If you're not familiar with the regional box, it's uh, basically a flat rate up to 15 or 20 pounds based on where you're located and where you're shipping it to. So the closer the place is to, the cheaper it is. Yep. Next. This is also from our bins last week. Dan listed it and it sold overnight. This is the Spider Jacket Women's Size Large Major Core Full Zip Black Cable Knit Jacket. This is pretty sweet, yeah. This is going to Pennsylvania. And it sold for $25. Like I said, we paid 70 cents. So I was taking reasonable offers all weekend. 
25 bucks? Perfect. Also, they started selling spider at Costco. Costco. So you need to be very, very careful that the market is not saturated in your item. Right. I have no idea if this was at Costco. So I took $25. Turning 70 cents into $25, you know, without... The other thing... I forgot to mention this. If we sell it quickly, we don't pay promotions. We don't promote things till like a week later. So we're saving money on that end too, right? Because we heavily promote our items up to 10%. Normally it is 10%. Yeah. So I'm happy this sold for $25, but really we got 10% more than we would have if we had waited. Does that make sense? Waited for a better offer. So maybe somebody would have offered me a little bit more. But also these quick conversions do really well in the algorithm for us. They just do. So I'm happy with $25, 70 cents into $25 with these. I don't know, we make it about 20 bucks, $20 bill. And this thing's getting a new life. I was gonna show you guys the label, but I'm pretty sure you saw it in the bins haul. So you got it. Eileen Fisher. Stick that purple. Another one. Another purple tunic. Hopefully it's the right one, right? Yeah. 5928. This is an Eileen Fisher size petite large. 100% crepe silk purple tunic top long sleeve. And it sold for $40.45. Nice. Okay, next is a bins item from last week. Also sold very quickly. Yep. These Trina Turk women's size 6 colorful shorts, stretch made in USA, hook eye zip. Uh, I bought these because I just thought they were so cool. I don't really care about brand on every single thing I buy. This is a boutique brand. I mean, it's a they sell it other places too, but a lot of boutiques carry this. I just thought these shorts were so cool. And they sold for $14. Sweet. Very, very quickly. Love it. We have a great Trina Turk coat in our closet that I'm waiting for it to sell. Yeah. I hope it does. Oh. This might be a viewer sale. I think this might be our friend Meg. We have a Megan and a Meg. I'm not sure. We don't leave a message. Okay. This purse finally sold. It's another... Uh, interesting pickup it's from the brand brighton but this special hmm. line what we have to figure out how to ship this thing yeah it'll be fine let's take it out and see this is um called my flat in london and it's a it's a a line that brighton had in the y2k times and people love it this purse is not in perfect condition but it's still fetched 25 bucks. I think it should have gone for about 45, but it's just not in perfect condition. And now we have to figure out how to- I mean, if I can do that. Gingerly, yeah. It's going to Washington State. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to leave it in the box it was in. Yeah. I think we can get that in a reach, but I mean, Washington's probably not great in a reach. Maybe a shoe box? The A is twelve seventy three. What do we charge? Eight. Eight ninety nine. Yeah. What about the shoe box? I don't know the weight. It's better than that. It's just hold on. Just, whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm trying to weigh it. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. 
113. Do you need the dimensions? I got it. It's 12.05. So same. Well, 70 cents cheaper than that box. Is this too long to go on a flat rate? Probably. You try it. Probably too long. Look how short these things are. Yeah, it won't. Alright, well. You live and you learn. We should have done better with that one. But we didn't. So, okay, this is 113, and then the dimensions are what? 7.4. Uh, 5.3, uh, 15. All right, sale of the weekend Woo. coming up right now. All right. Vintage. It sold so fast. <laughs> We drove all the way to Oklahoma to get it. <laughs> we sure did. Uh, we didn't. Are you guys ready for this? Look at this thing. This is a vintage IBM model L40 SX, L40 SX laptop with case, powers on, boots ups, works. Yeah, it's an old IBM, it's a PS2. It's a PS2 model L40. Laptop computer. This is what laptops used to look like, people. Oh my goodness. <laughs> look at this thing. I can't even believe it. I know, right? It still boots up. It's All right, still... wait, let's do a thumbnail. Y'all, you have to deal with this. <gasps> yeah. Right here. <laughs> okay, so this puppy, it's not even clean. You don't want me to clean it? Nope. I put it in the description. That it was dirty? Yep. Dirty bird. Okay, this sold for $359.96 on an offer, uh, and it was listed less than a day. Yep. And it's in a Samsonite case. Samsonite. Way it's off. Way off. So, we got to find a box for it, and they paid a bunch of shipping, I'm sure. Uh, it probably at least 15 Yeah, 15 So, we're going to ship this the UPS way. Yeah. So we would need something that's like 18. Well, all the boxes in here are like not measured anymore. 18 by 15 or something? 18 by 16? I don't hear what I'm trying to tell you. Uh, well, yeah, the but... The boxes are like not measured, so he's giving me numbers. I, I got this size. There's This size is out in the garage. Oh, let's see, 18, 15, and what? Six. 18, 15. Yeah, like an inch too. Let me go see what's happening. All right. Well, I will carry on with the next one since I'm supposed to be at work already. Beta Brand. We sold these again. They were returned for fit. Beta Brand women's size, women's plus size 1X Petite. Yoga dress pants, skinny leg black, and they sold for $40. They are over a pound, so they're gonna go in a flat rate envelope. Come on, baby. Like a glove. Like a glove. I mean, it's pretty snug. 
is in a case, right? It is in a Samsonite travel case, yeah. Whatever you need, I got it over there. If you want an air pocket or something. Yeah, I mean, an air pocket, I don't think it's going to hold on. You know what I mean? I mean, whatever you need. I don't, think, I don't think we need it. Alright. Flat rate envelope. Flat rate envelope. There's some hard things to pack up. <laughs> Next are these Gentle Souls shoes. I believe that I got these for a play and I did not end up using them. And I know I got them for a play because I always get Mary Jane heels. Because when you're walking across stage, it's really nice to have a strap. So just make sure your shoes are snug. Whoa, don't cut Ooh. toward yourself. Okay, These only sold for $15, but they are going to Mexico. Are they? Yes, so I believe that they need to come out of this box. sure what box they need to go into this gentle souls from um it does normally pretty well for us i don't know why these took so long to sell and they're by kenneth cole their comfort line i'm trying to show you up in here they're really nice little mary janes yeah they're going to mexico oh they did have a little damage on the back of the the heel, which I'm sure is noted. So this guy, ready? Am I ready? Yeah. Oh, I'm not ready. Hold on. What? 18 by 14 by six and a half. Heavy. Three. You're kind of like loosey goosey over there. I reinforced it. You're sure? Yeah. It just look a little. It's just because it's a little, a little bent in a little bit. <laughs> you know, put tape this way. I'm gonna put a piece. Here you go. Got it. Oh. You go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Avalanche. I could just see that getting caught on something, like ripping the whole box open. Thank you. It's Prime Day today or something. Another, they added another Prime Day. I don't participate. Hyped. Overhyped. Overhyped. Okay. So there we go. Let me cool. that up on the UPS. And I need to figure out a box to put these in. A small box maybe that we own. What is it? It's shoes to Mexico. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. Cool. Okay. 
inspection people are going to be like, pet food? What's all that pet food for? There are your animals in there. <laughs> exactly right. Okay. This is a 9 by 9 by 4. Well, yeah, international, you have to. Mm -hmm. This, oh, we have this thing, the Wagner Ware. Mm -hmm. This is a Wagner Ware Magnolite Roaster Pot Lid. Also got this at the bins, and it sold very quickly for $31.35. Dan is going to max out this regional box. Come on, regional box. Stop it. That's that's called, like, really good value. I just put some stickers on it. Right? This thing is heavy. So regional is like a really good. Value. You don't really have to, it's like made of aluminum or whatever. You don't have to you know, do the other end too. You don't even have to put bubble wrap and stuff on it really. It's kind of like a tank, it's like <laughs> bubble wrapping a tank. All right, so yeah, that sold for thirty-one forty-five. Going to Georgia Regional. Sweet. I just want to tell you how heavy it is. Almost three pounds. Okay. Just for the lid. J. Crew size small popover dress in brush flannel vintage Merlot multi reimagined. The reimagined line of J. Crew was a little bit ago. I'm not sure what the deal was with that. I don't know whether it was like dead stop fabric or what. I don't know. This cursive tag was like new a little bit ago. And anyway, okay. this guy sold for thirty dollars. Love it. There you go. <clears throat> Eleven ounces. Owns you uh yoga pants. Okay. Those are these, huh? Gotta be, yeah. They're older. This these uh, yoga pants used to do much better than they do now. These are the Unzi women's size medium large leggings, high rise, tribal sky, southwestern crop. Bam! These are cool. I like them. Anyway, I was at the thrift store one day and I found all these high end leggings. This was like the lowest end brand of all of them. And they've all sold. Like Nolly and Alala. These are going to California. Sweet. Ralph Lauren purple label, size 12, red tunic, flutter sleeve, blouse, boat neck, draped. <clears throat> this top is gorgeous. Super simple, but so awesome. Yeah. This is the purple label. It is <clears throat> very purple. Like, you will not mistake it. <laughs> Some people ask how we tell the difference between purple and blue. It is purple. Like, great. Ro royal purple. Grimace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it sold for $61.95. Go. <clears throat> Final thing is a board game. I thought it was going to do better than this, but it did not. It is from Lost. I thought people loved this show, and I was like, this is going to do great. Right? Didn't do great. Not so great. <laughs> it sold for $15. <laughs> hmm. And it's not very heavy. It's going to Hawaii. It's going to Hawaii. Okay. I 
Mm. How much do you weigh? Yeah, it's over a pound. It weighs 1.6. Okay. What about a big bubble? Cubic. Yeah. Let's see if it's that's so tall. Ah. Boiled. I do have a big one from Amazon. Do you want a big Amazon bubble mailer or should we do a poly mailer? All the questions. I got this really big thing. <laughs> I mean, exactly. Zero room to yeah. spare. We get a lot of questions about shipping to Hawaii. It's the U.S. Use the USPS priority mail. It's far away, but they only have nine zones. So it will probably be zone nine. But it's still regular old priority mail. Yep. Okay, this thing is 10 by 8 by 4. That's awesome to fit in that. Yes. All right. Now, your right. favorite part. We're going to put labels on all of these. Okay, and I'll put them all up here. Dan's using the bulk shipping tool on eBay and putting in all those numbers. about it. I'm just always kind of surprised how much room it takes up. Ship all this stuff. Ouch. What? Shipping on that pumpkin is very expensive. Why? Because it's big and heavy. Did you try pirate ship? I did. What did it come out? It's higher on pirate ship. I can do UPS ground, but there's no guarantee that it's going to get there in time. You know what I mean? Yeah. How much is, how much, what are you talking here? UPS ground is 1334 and priority mail is 1827. And would they pay? 899. Yikes. Yep. Now, those of you that are at home and like put it in a bag, do box in a bag. The bag has to be 18 inches maximum on the longest side. It would never fit in a bag. Nope. That was 18 inches. I mean, UPS ground is usually fast enough to get to qualify, you know, for expedited shipping. Yeah. So I'll just, I'll try that. Yeah. Well, you get a little ding if your item doesn't arrive in time, if they choose the way we have it set up, at least. You get a little ding and that's okay. It's not a big ding. You know what I mean? A little ding. 
We're not afraid of a little ding. And sometimes we mess up on shipping. It happens. Listing tonight with Matt. I think so, yep. So if you're into that, tune in on our other channel. They have fun, little bro time. I will be using tweezers like this to put rhinestones all over dresses. <laughs> mind numbing but must be done Things get complicated when there's a big long list. I'm just saying. There we go. All right. There we go. Here we go, friends. <clears throat> There's a lot. I wonder if we're gonna make our goal. That'll be interesting to see because we sold so many low dollar, lower dollar things, but we had a couple high dollar things. So this is Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So it should be $800 in profit. Seems like a tall order. Becky wrote back, she says she has lots and lots of books in all caps. Does she have two to 3,000 books? I don't know. It sounds like she's got stuff that could work for everything. Okay, good. Okay, are you ready? Yep. All right, the St. John's Fort, the lower pants. Okay. Haha, <laughs> sparkle pants, <laughs> that's what you called it. St. John's Sparkle Pants. Sparkle Pants. Love that. Love a sparkle pant. London Underground backpack. I needed this for a show. I'm so mad about it. I was doing props on a show where he needed a tube <clears throat> tube map on a backpack. Ugh. Liverpool maybe, trousers. Maybe Flat someone envelope. is doing that show. Maybe. They need it for the same thing. 
Liverpool. Here you go. I used to sell Liverpool jeans and pants when I worked for Stitch Fix. But they're not exclusive to Stitch Fix. You can find Liverpool, I think, at Nordstrom Rack, etc., etc. Juicy Couture pants. Still going, bagpipes. The Russ Bunny. Christian Siriano pumpkin. This is, uh, yeah, you guess, okay. Oh. Eileen Fisher, fifty-eight twelve. Fifty-eight twelve. Here we go. Anthropology sweater, padded flat rate. Wait. Wait. Sorel slippers. Why are you question marking? Spider, had a flat rate. Fisher, fifty nine twenty eight. Three type shorts. Bag. My flat in London. It was like a UK day, isn't it? Okay. Isn't Everything it? was about UK today. Isn't it? Shout out to our viewers in the UK. We love you. And Northern Ireland. There's a laptop. Beta brand. Beta brand, beta brand, beta brand over here. Wagner Ware lid. Purple label. 
lost. ones I need to keep off to the side. Should I put them in the red? Yeah, because they're not on the scarecrow. Okay. Okay, and this is the the other one. Tension calls. Yes. All right, everybody. We made gonna, it. Made it. All right, we're gonna take this stuff to the post office and then check in on the profit number. Go. Hi. Hey. Okay, so we had $1,434.47 in sales and $824 even in profit. Sweet. Right on the money. Yeah. So let's see how we're doing for the month. We should have about $2,200 in profit. It's October 11th. Okay. <laughs> Woo. Okay, so we're on target so far for the month. Uh, I attribute that to Dan listing every day. Things that people want. <laughs> uh, I have not been listing, so I think we could get this number up. It is Q4. We should be above our targets. But we're still right on track. Yeah. It's not so bad. Not so bad. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. We really appreciate it. Um, catch me and my buddy Matt listing live on eBay tonight at 7.30 p.m. Central on our other channel, which is linked in the description down below. Bye. Bye.